As I indicate in the description, this is an example of taking a sum of complex exponentials, in this case our Fourier series representation of x of t, and putting it through a linear time invariant system as represented here by h of j omega. So what I want to do is define first what our system is. We have e to the j k pi over 5 t. So omega naught is equal to pi over 5. And a sub k is equal to 1 over 2j raised to the k. And this is an infinite sum from minus infinity to infinity. If we look at our system here, it's either 2 or it's 0. So h of j omega is equal to either 2 or 0. It's 2 when omega is between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. So absolute value of omega is less than pi over 2 and it's 0 otherwise. So now we look at our Fourier series, we have k times pi over 5. So when k is equal to 0, we have omega is equal to 0. When k is equal to 1, we have omega equal pi over 5. And k equal to 2, we have omega is equal to 2 pi over 5, and just one more, k equal to 3, omega is equal to 3 times pi over 5. So clearly 0 is in this range, pi over 5 is in this range, in fact 2 pi over 5 is also in this range, 3 pi over 5 is outside, this is 0.6 pi, this is 0.5, so po the 3 pi over 5 is out here, so it gets multiplied by 0. The terms in the middle at 0, at, sorry about that, at pi over 5, and at 2 pi over 5, also at minus pi over 5, and at minus 2 pi over 5. Those terms all get multiplied by 2. And any of the terms greater than that, either in the negative direction or in the positive direction, get multiplied by 0. So y of t is going to equal the sum from k equal minus 2 to 2 of 2, the amplitude of the filter, times a sub k, 1 over 2j to the k, e to the j k pi over 5t. So the 2 and the 1 over 2j to the k is our b sub k. And there's only 5 of them.